All right, Amber, it's Tuesday. You know what day it is? Transformation Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Amber, let's start back from, from your first day. How long have you been a member here? I think it's, well, since you opened here. Yeah. So for sure, three, four years. I think April, in April or March or something like that, March, yeah. April 2016. Yeah. We had a challenge here, and I think everybody that came through the door, we all bought, like, got them T-shirts, and I think you were yeah. wearing the red one. Yeah. Yeah, the red, and it was like a V V cut, and it had the logo across here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was the first it was the yeah. first of of the many, and look at the transformation that we've gone through. Remember the walls? Like, I felt like we were in America. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> In the USA, yeah, no. We were, really we were the only thing missing was, was the flag. Straight. Was the flag. Yeah. And it's funny because that paint job cost me more to do than to have this beautiful wood up. Because it was just such a deep dark coat. Oh, because it's so, yeah. Yeah, it was such a deeper, deep dark coat. Darker, and so here's a lot of things that people don't know about this place: was it was actually a dollar store, and this was actually one. This is actually one and a half units. And so that back room over there, we took an extra 500 square feet from the salon. And this whole area was ours, but it was green, like a very bright Dollarama green because it was like the dollar store or something oh, yeah. like that. Yeah, I remember that. And then they had slat wall everywhere and glass, like glass mirrors all on the pillars. Yeah, I remember that because I, I worked at the hair salon when I was young. This one? Yeah. Crazy. That's how I know Daniela. <laughs> so when there we go. 15. Forever North Kildonan. When I was 15. Yeah. 14. So prior, because you probably have a couple different stories layered into one. Like, let's just go back to the beginning if you can remember. What were you doing to, what were you specifically doing for fitness? When I say fitness, I'm not talking I walked the dog, you know, we built fences. Like, I'm talking, what did you do to, like, get your heart rate up or, or to build some muscle or to drop fat? When? Before you like had that before, red shirt? Um, well, I hadn't probably worked out for a while. Yeah. After I had kids, I just found like I didn't have, I had a colicky child. Mm -hmm. And how, you know, when we were talking about the chariot, yeah. he wouldn't go in the chariot. I couldn't go oh, for bike no. rides. He couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. Like, anywhere. Well, and then. So what was it like then? You would just sit at home with him and hold him? Basically, he just screamed. Yeah. Being a mom is exhausting. Months. Like if your kid doesn't collaborate and you're trying to cook or do whatever it is that you're, and you got like, you're just holding on to this monkey, right? The entire time. I remember asking my, my girlfriend one time, I said, how many hours a day do you think that your son cries? And she's like, what do you mean? Yeah. Hours? And I go, yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I have Jack must cry about 10 hours a day. And she's like, that's not normal. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is my first son, right? And yeah. I'm like, Oh my God, I'm like dying here. Yeah. Like he sleeps the other 14 and when he's up, he's just crying. crying. So no, I didn't do a lot then. Um, before. Well, you're probably exhausted. I was Like so how tired. can you even think of fitness when you're just like trying to just get by with this kid? No, I was so <laughs> tired. And yeah. then Elle came along and then they fought. Mm -hmm. And then it was just hard, just two little like Two little ones. And how far apart are they? Just under two years. Okay. Yeah, so, so it's like, like Jet and Kai are both yeah. two years. Yeah. They're a handful bringing them places. Yeah. Boy and girl. Yeah. Like, I think it was two boys and they would have the commonality. Yes. To do, like, to play together. Yes. It's the same thing with girls. Yeah. Um, so I didn't even really attempt to. Oh, I did take them actually to Shapes once. Okay. And I put them in the... And the wellness babysitter. institute. Yeah. I put them in the babysitter, and then they came back with bruises, and the girl <laughs> couldn't explain to me why. So I'm like, well, "That's it. I'm gone. I'm, not, I'm, never, I'm never going back." <laughs> and then I went to the wellness um, for a bit because they had a like a, more of a daycare, mm -hmm. and something happened there too, and I don't I don't remember what it was. And I'm like, "Okay, I give She's up." Got to wait. I'm like, yeah. So that's wait. probably what three four years before you started going to the gym, or even longer. Yeah, probably, because they're 11, 13, so, yeah. okay, so Jack would have been nine, oh, wow. and Ella would have been seven when I started here. Yeah. And then, like, all those years before were written off. I tried. Okay, yeah. But you just couldn't find the time? 
no, I tried, and then a, some one, one of them came back with a bruise. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and nobody could explain to me why. <laughs> and it was a big uh, bruise, so I was kind of, like, put off by that. Okay. And then, again, the wellness, I, I, something happened. I don't remember if the kids didn't want to go back there or if one of the kids they didn't like or something. It was, yeah. like, they were great there, too, but just something with the daycare thing. I think that's probably a common thing, especially for moms right now, that they have to stay home and basically be the teacher and be the mother full time. Yeah. Right. Or dads, or it doesn't have to be the moms, but I'm just saying like right now, I know our daycare isn't taking full capacity yet. And so my son's been out of daycare since COVID. Right. And, uh, and so we have our other kid that my wife is at home on mat leave with. And so now she's like having yeah, to that's pair hard. up. Right. So I could see it being like a crazy struggle for a lot of people right now. So, um, if you were to rewind and be put in that position, how, how do you think that you can make it work? Um, you mean rewind those other Yeah, years let's just before? say, with, yeah, like you have under, let's say five year, five, you know, kids five and under right now. How can you s still make time to be able to, to go to the gym or to do a workout? Well, I do see a lot of kids, well, not now, I guess. Yeah like before I saw some kids outside yeah when yeah. they just hang out because it's a half an hour so it's quick yeah. like if you're going to a big gym you're all over the place so mm -hmm. they can't follow you in there right. here it's nice that it's just like they're right there yeah. like or they're here before mm -hmm. and obviously unless they're baby then Chelsea yeah, yeah. Just keep her baby there and it was yeah. fine right mm -hmm. so I think that's great so that bring you guys with support you. the babies mm -hmm. and the mamas and yeah I think that's awesome. The moms are the best. You know why? Because they go the hardest. They're like, I only get 30 minutes. This is my 30 minutes. Yeah. I don't care. I'm going hard. Well, and I like that. And then the rest of the time, like, you don't know what you're going to be doing for the rest of the day. Yeah. Totally. So it's, it's kind of unpredictable. That so yeah. get it in and get it done, right? Okay. So what are you doing now? So you come in at the 945-ish time slot. What's, what's some of the changes or what some adjustments have you made since since uh let's say coming back from the uh the little vacation everybody <laughs> had a little mini vacation um well i'm trying to stay more active as you know i go to the lake in the summer yep. so yeah i'm surprised you're here um well i'm going to try to come back a little bit more this summer because nice. i felt like i was already off with the kids for yeah. three months yes and now that they can see their friends mm. they really want to see their friends got it so we, like I told you, that one of them has a play date right now, and okay. then the other is later today. And okay. So, you know, can't be on holidays for six months. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just not normal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> I'll, a lot. <laughs> I'll come back, you won't you, recognize you, me. I'll be like, oh. Yeah. So, um, but then the time that I am there, I have to make more of an effort to get out and like the pedal boat. Like I did like a two hour pedal boat yeah. ride last week with my friends and paddle board ride. And I'd like to go running, but there's like a bear problem right now. Oh, so yeah. I'm a little bit, Hesitant. yeah. Just gonna have to go run in the yard or do Although I bought bear spray and a bear banger. So I thought, there okay, you go. if I just went be running, quick to react. then I'll like just tuck yeah. it in here. <laughs> just don't spray yourself. Tuck it in my tights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's good. And I honestly, I think a lot of people are gonna be doing that this summer. We all had, a, you know, I know it wasn't beautiful weather here, and you, but it was snowing when COVID hit. Yeah. But I think a lot of people are going to spend a lot more time. And more importantly, I think a lot of people are going to focus more on their health. They realize like, oh man, like, you know, I, the first two weeks, everybody ate bad. I don't care who you are. There was just, you know, there's just in the cupboards, constantly eating. It was like when you go first to your trip to Mexico. You're like, yeah. I'm here. I'm, you know, the first two days, a lot of people get sunstroke and all that in the first two days. We had the first two weeks of being a COVID and then we just ate, right? Yeah. We just ate. And so now people are, I, I do find that, right? That people, even if they're going to their lake, they're being more active and they're eating better. And most of them are even just driving back for two or three days just to get a workout in. So that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Drive in for like, you know, even if I came in the Monday, even if I worked out Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday or even if I just got two two workouts in yeah, I feel so much better about mm -hmm. myself so we just got to push you so, harder then yeah that's what you're yeah. saying like I was going to yesterday <laughs> but I was so tired I'm like, oh, I should have uh, but um take a little shot of pre-workout or something 
well, that's why I got the, uh, the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I just was not organized yesterday to do Good. it. But um, I'm going to have to because... I just feel better about myself. Yeah, like, big time. You always feel better I, after work. Like, I probably, well, I mean, unless I really cut out, like, it's hard when, when you're hosting at the lake and everything. Yeah. So the likelihood of me losing my 10-pound, 15-pound <laughs> COVID baby in my tummy <laughs> is likely not going to happen over the summer. Okay, good. But at least if I kept up, like, you know, yeah. kept up with my muscle and, yeah. like, my endorphins it would yeah. keep me more motivated to come back in full time yeah. hopefully when you know when the kids are back in school yeah. like i love coming here september 6 like when the kids are back <laughs> in school i'm like yes like i get to come here yeah. and then i stay for my doubles and then if yeah. i want to go for a uh, coffee with somebody yes. like i don't have to worry about it yeah you can make so, it a better routine yeah. yeah yeah so we just gotta push you when you're here that's what you're telling me so yeah. Amber's not away because of an injury. Amber's just at the lake. So when she comes, kick her butt. Yeah. Deal. All right. So do you remember your first day here? Yeah. I came with Candace Semenek. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How could I forget this? Okay. It was at night. And because um, I couldn't I couldn't come to the morning one. And it was like just peeling a Band-Aid off, right? Yeah. Like ripping it off. I'm like, okay. okay, the only time I can come is at night. Okay. And can as you know, Candace comes early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, I've never been at night. Yeah. And I go, well, come with me because I don't want to go alone. Yeah. And um, so she came and it was hard. It was really hard. And Andrew was, I think I'm positive it was Andrew that was coaching too. Tori usually does the evenings back then. Well, maybe it might have been Tori. Yeah. I think it was actually, yeah. yeah. I almost forgot about him. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was him. And then uh, I like worked my ass off during it because I didn't mm. want to look like a loser. Yeah. I was so sore the next day. <laughs> I remember my husband says to me, or, like maybe it was two days later. Yeah. I had all uh, my kids. My kids' rooms are upstairs, and I had them their um, laundry yeah. at the bottom of the stairs. He's oh. like, "Why do you keep leaving the laundry there?" And this is when they were little, right? Yeah. And I'm like. I can't walk up the stairs. I cannot walk, please. My legs are so sore. I'm like, please just take the clothes off. Because yeah. my legs are like burning. But you know what? I, I figured that the if I kept coming back, I think I did three or four times that week. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't want to just like stop yeah. and then make it worse. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, totally. Yeah, so that's, that's the best active. thing you can do for yourself is just, just go again. Yeah. Just go again. You just go again. But I would take like the Epsom salt Oh yeah, baths, you have to heal. And I would take like a Tylenol or something at night. Yeah. Like that first week was really bad. I remember that. Yeah. And then like, I mean, even after, I guess when you just opened, oh, what yeah. was it, three weeks, four weeks ago, yeah. whatever, I still was not that sore. <laughs> like I was sore, but yeah. I was never that sore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sore was like a full on different kind of sore yeah. yeah so what would you tell somebody let's say it's their it's their first day first week like you saw we had a, a, a new member come and sign up today and yeah so she did her first workout what would you tell her what should she expect over the next like two weeks and what advice um, would you give her well the pain gets less okay <laughs> uh, the pain definitely gets less yeah like I would even say by like the third fourth time it was still yeah. hurting less and less yeah and you just get you get obviously you make more muscle so then you yeah. can you're you can do more yeah well you're lifting quite a bit of weight there you know what i mean considering we haven't been lifting weight so think about oh. that like what how much weight do you think you would have been able to lift let's go four years ago versus how much weight do you think you can lift now oh right yeah, yeah. no i probably wouldn't have lived much yeah in the beginning no and so that's a true like a big indicator of like how fit you are right like the fact that you can lift those weights and you're lifting weights that like teenagers can't even lift right and so yeah. so think about that strength you've got the memory. strength of like a 18 year old you know teenage boy kind of thing right which is really good well, i don't know about that oh yeah let's bring all these teenagers <laughs> in here let's we'll put them it. let's put them to the test in fact we have done that we've brought hockey teams and they can never keep up with the moms really they have a really hard time yeah huh. so that's good. I love that story. 
So I think we'll wrap it up there. Thank you, Amber, for coming on. And Amber, you know what day it is. It's Tuesday. So what does that mean? Transformation Tuesday. Yes. We'll see you on the blue. <laughs>